Hi, in this tutorial we'll take a look at how you can integrate the free Simple WordPress membership plugin with the WP Express Checkout plugin by Tips and Tricks HQ so that you can offer memberships while still handling the payment in the neat and secure PayPal pop-up window. The payment will be handled with the WP Express Checkout plugin while the membership side of things including the member profiles and content protection are handled by the Simple Membership plugin. Both these plugins are free WordPress plugins and in this tutorial we will look at how they can be used alongside one another to offer your customers a smooth checkout process with a membership style product. Customers who purchased your membership style product will then be able to complete their member registration and gain access to content you have restricted on your website for paid members only. So first things first, let's head to my test WordPress website we will make sure we have both of these pieces of software installed and activated. Once you log in to your WordPress website, you'll need to go to the plugins menu and add new and then you'll need to search for the WP Express Checkout plugin and the Simple WordPress Membership plugin. Once you install and activate those two plugins, you'll see those two menus in your WordPress dashboard that I have there on my screen. Once you've done that, you'll need to go to each of the settings menus of those plugins and complete the required settings. You can find out more information about setting up both of those plugins on their individual documentation websites. So once you've set up both your plugins, it's time we create our first simple WordPress membership membership levels. So this will be the level that your members will be signing up to when they complete a successful checkout with your membership style product. So let's head to our WP membership menu and then click on membership levels. From here we'll just need to add our new level. So you'll need to give your membership level a name. This should indicate what the level is going to be about. So I'll just do my ebook subscriber. I'll just sell an ebook to my members. So they'll have access to hidden pages where they can read different stuff. So their default WordPress role you can alter that from the drop down menu. Mine is going to be a subscriber to my site and the access duration. So mine is going to have no expiry, but you can alter all these things here and you can read more about these things on the simple WordPress membership website. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to add my new membership level. So once you've added your membership level, it'll have an ID. You'll see your membership level there and you'll see the role. Now we'll set up our product by clicking the add new product menu and then we'll attach our membership level to that product. So let's go ahead, we'll click WP Express Checkout, add new product. So that'll take us to the product creation page where we'll just go ahead and we'll complete our product as normal and it's in the simple membership level section that we will attach our membership level to the product. So I'll scroll back up to the top and let's start completing our product. Pairing ebook, you might like to add a description about what you'll be selling. That will entice your customers to then click your purchase button. So once you've added in your description, scroll down and add your price of your membership style product. So it will just be a one time price for your membership unless you're using the subscription add on for the WP Express checkout plugin. So if you don't have the subscriptions plugin, you can purchase that from the WP Express checkout site, or you might like to just have a one-time membership payment. Scrolling down, you might like to add some variations about your product, but for mine, I won't be having variations. I'm just creating a very simple product so that I can show you how you can attach a membership level to your product. Quantity is one. You can add shipping cost, tax, I'll leave those all as is. You might need to add a download URL if it's a digital product and you might need to select your thumbnail image. Add my image in and let's scroll on down to that simple membership level section that I was talking about earlier. So this is where we're going to connect our membership level to our product. So from the drop down, I'll choose my ebook subscriber level from my membership. So those that purchase this product will then become ebook subscribers and their member profile will be created within that WP members menu, which we'll take a look at very shortly. So let's scroll back up to the top 
and we'll click that publish button to publish out our product. So after we've published out our product, you'll see your product has a short code. Let's go ahead and we'll copy our short code and we'll paste that into the short code block on a new page. So I might like to give my page a title, parenting ebooks, and then I'll need to add the short code block in there to then paste my product short code. I like to add the template equals one parameter as that gives you a nice little box that includes your product details, your thumbnail image and the purchase button. So I'll add that template equals one parameter now. So it's super simple to add that into your short code to then create that nice product box. Let's publish out our page and let's view our page from the front end of my website so we can see what that looks like when you create a product and you attach a membership level. Your customer will then come onto your website and they'll choose to buy your parenting ebook. So they'll click that buy now button. They'll then see the pop-up window. So that's from the WP Express checkout plugin. It shows you this pop-up window where your customer can choose to pay with their PayPal account or debit or credit card. So I'll just be completing a sandbox transaction now to show you the process, which is very similar to a real transaction. So let's click pay with PayPal. So I've gone ahead and I've entered in my PayPal details. I'll click login. And as you can see, I'm then prompted to choose which I'd like to pay with. I'll use my PayPal balance and I'll scroll down and I'll click pay now. So after a successful purchase, your customer is directed to your thank you page. So this is produced by the WP Express Checkout plugin, this page, and you can edit it from the pages menu. So you just need to search thank you from your pages menu, or you can edit page there. And I've just added in one line at the bottom that says, if you have purchased a membership, please check your email for your registration link. So this will prompt the customer that, to then go to their email where they will see their registration email with the registration link. So it's important that you let your customers know that that link's gonna be there because that is how they complete their membership. So right now their member will be in the back end, but it won't be completed. So I'll show you that quickly and then we'll go to our email and we'll complete the registration. So if I head back, if we go to WP membership and we go to members, there's our member right there. But as you can see, it is an incomplete member as they haven't gone and they haven't completed that registration page. So now I'll head to my email and we'll complete that registration. So once you're in your email, you'll see that registration email and you'll see the registration link. So if your customer clicks on that link, they'll be taken to your website's registration page where they can complete their registration for their membership. So your customer will need to choose a username, a password, they'll need to repeat their password and they'll be able to register. They can also see the membership level there that they have paid for. So mine was the ebook subscriber. I'll go ahead now and I'll complete username and a password. So this customer's registration on the membership side of your site has been successful as they can see there and then they can log into your site to view the content that you may have hidden for that membership level. So you can read more about hiding your WordPress website content on the simple WordPress membership documentation pages. So I'll go ahead and I'll log into the website now. Log in. And now that member has logged into the WordPress website and then they'd be able to see that hidden content for their membership level. So that pretty much sums up how you can create your membership level, attach that to a WP Express Checkout plugin product, and then how the customer can check out with that product to then earn that membership level. So now that we've done the test checkout, let's go to the back end of our website and see what that looks like from the members menu, and then let's see where that's recorded as a transaction. So I'll head to my WordPress website, the back end. Let's go to WP membership, members menu, there you can see my John Doe tester and he's in there as the ebook subscriber. So you can see it doesn't have that incomplete message anymore as that customer has gone on and they have completed that registration link. So now that you can see that your member has been recorded in there, 
Let's go to the WP Express checkout orders menu where we'll see that transaction. So there we can see that transaction happened only six minutes ago and it has been paid for. So you can view more details about that transaction by clicking on the description. So I think that pretty much sums up this tutorial on if you want to use the WP Express Checkout plugin, how you can integrate the Simple WordPress membership plugin to offer memberships on your website, but still handle all the payment through the WP Express Checkout plugin with that PayPal pop-up window. If you have any further questions or queries about the WP Express Checkout plugin, feel free to contact Tips and Tricks HQ. Although if you have any further questions about the Simple WordPress membership plugin, go to their website and simply use their contact form to contact them.